Let's take a look at the process involved with replacing the eSIM, the Evaporative System Integrity Monitor, on a Chrysler product. Today I'm working on a Dodge Charger, and so I've gone ahead, we're in the passenger side rear of the vehicle, or the right rear of the vehicle. I've removed the right rear wheel, and also the plastic covering that goes inside the wheel well. So now we can see we've got the canister here, we've got the eSIM assembly, then we've got a little air filter right there. So first things first, I'm just going to unplug the electrical connector, move that out of the way. And maybe the next thing I want to do here is just get the, the rubber hose off that goes to the filter unit. So now we can kind of set that out of our way. Now there's a little plastic tab on the back of the eSIM here. And so I'm going to depress this and it's going to allow me to turn the unit. So as I press it, now I can rotate and I've removed my old eSIM unit. And so we've got it out. Now I'm going to take my new eSIM. It's very important that we install it. It's got to be oriented correctly. If you've ever looked inside of an eSIM, you'll see that there's actual weights in there. And the weights are what make the contact for the switches work. So if we mount this thing upside down, it's not going to operate properly and it's never going to seal. So we need to orient it properly. And also, you'll see that there's a seal here where it mounts to the canister. Now ours all come with a new seal, which is very helpful. But we're going to take our new eSIM, and I don't want to damage the seal when I reinstall it there. We'll take our new eSIM, slide it into place, and then we'll make the quarter turn to get it installed properly here. So once my eSIM is slid into place, I'll now reinstall the hose and slide the, the filter back into place, make my electrical connection, and now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the inner fender put the rear tire on, clear any trouble codes, and rerun a test. And just like that, hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the eSIM on a Chrysler product.